But one of the things I want to share with you real quick is you said something, you posted something on LinkedIn and I want to get your thoughts on it. So I'm going to read it and I want to get your thoughts on it. If you look to others for fulfillment, you will never be fulfilled. If your happiness depends on money, possessions, experiences, you will never be happy with yourself. Be content with what you have. Rejoice in the way things are. When you realize there is nothing lacking, you are now on the journey towards true freedom and joy. Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> um, that's been a. That's probably been the um, probably the biggest thesis and the biggest summary of what I've been walking through um, about the last ten years was that that's my life story, right? Just um, chasing the things that this world always says to chase bigger, better, right? Um, chasing pride, pleasures, and possessions, right? Those are the three things that every uh, man has chased since the beginning of time. And it's also been the destruction of man since the beginning of time. So they chase pride because, you know, we look at ourselves and we have a lot of little boy, little kid insecurities. So we try to beat our chest and, and we try to uh, tell ourselves and tell others that we matter more than we really do. Um, we try to chase pleasures um, because we think that that will be fulfillment, but it's just very short term fulfillment. Hence why data shows that we get more fulfillment from actually booking a trip and planning a trip and actually being on the trip. That shows that there's something inherently wrong with ourselves, our internal selves, right? And then possessions, thinking that something that's monetary, something that's physical, something that you could actually touch and feel, thinking that that could actually give us contentment, thinking that's something that could, that could actually give us joy. And as we know, it just doesn't, right? And so uh, what do you do with all that? Well, you seek and send contentment. You seek instead to see that everything you have is actually a blessing, right? That if you just have a cold, at least you're breathing. That if you have a two bedroom house, at least you have shelter. That if you had one meal, that at least you have food in your system, right? That if you have uh, one child, but you couldn't have two, at least you have the blessing to raise one. Um, and so you just wake up every day and you thank the Lord um, for what you do have and being content for what you do have. Um, and that right there is a place of freedom. And once you're free, boy, that's where joy starts. That's awesome.